Well, I'm here with Nat from Monty's on Mount Pelia in Battery Point. And Nat, Battery Point's got quite a history about it. Yeah, it does. It's um, quite a historic part, one of the earliest places that were settled in Hobart. Um, this building, it is alleged and rumoured, was actually a bordello. Really? So in her darker uh, history. <laughs> There's lots of little separate rooms with fireplaces and each room has its own personality. This room is the cellar, as you can see, the beautiful um, bottles of wine on the wall. We've also got a couple of other rooms, the library, which is a beautiful bookcase. Um, the bar area is, is stunning and it's a really beautiful way for people to start their evening out by Preaching and drinking the bar before moving through to the table. Well, I met Trudy at the Preaching and the Drinks, and Trudy, what do you like about this place? Oh, look, certainly one of my favourite things to do in Hobart is to bring family and friends and people who've never been to Monty's to, to share in the experience. And it feels like you're just bringing, you know, family and friends to your own house. And obviously, we have a much better chef and a much nicer host. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it really does feel like you're entertaining your own friends, but in, in such a beautiful environment. Now, Nat, let's talk cuisine, and what can we expect here at Monty's? Well, Matt and I um, really try to focus on promoting local Tasmanian produce wherever possible. So it's a contemporary Tasmanian produce. Uh, modern Australian cuisine, just, yeah, focusing on those local producers. And we have special growers that, that do provide um, produce just for our restaurant. Oh, that's great. Now, tell us what we've got here tonight. Well, Nell here has from the ocean, which is a traditional uh, French bouillabaisse, so that beautiful saffron and tomato-based broth with a melange of local, local seafood. Matt here has our um, Rannock Farm Quail Kiev, and that's served over a pancetta-wrapped ferron risotto. Trudy's got the um, Angus short rib, um, so that's uh, been slowly braised for about five and a half hours and served over a garlic and parmesan smash. That is our um, duck dish. It's a beautiful pastry casing made in-house, which is lined with a duck liver pâté, confit leg meat uh, shredded at the base and just topped with some uh, beautiful uh, medium rare duck breast. And now talking about the menu, you've been here quite a few times. I have, I've honestly lost count the amount of times I've been here. Nat's like my family when I come here. Um, I don't have a favourite dish because it's simply they're all amazing. But the, me the menu does change every month, but I think I've steadily worked my way consistently through them all, so now I can just pick my favourite. <laughs> That's great. And that complementing the cuisine comes wine, so what have we got tonight? Well I've actually selected two wines for this evening, um, both iconic for Tasmania. Um, first of all we have the EC Gold Label Chardonnay, mm -hmm. which is from the Coral River Valley. It's a boutique winery um, which we love to support smaller local producers. So that's the EC Chardonnay there. Mm -hmm. And we also have another little beautiful boutique winery which is uh, Morningside, also in the Coral River Valley. And this is a Pinot Noir, 2005 vintage. Again, an iconic Tasmanian wine. Mm -hmm. And Matt, you like a drop of wine. What do you think of the wine list? I think they've done a great job here with their wine list. They really support the local industry, which is great. Um, not only from the south, but also in the north. Um, they have a great Riesling selection. Tasmanian are really well known for their Rieslings, being cool climate wines. Um, you get really good mineral flavours and things like that, but really supports the, the food here as well. Well, Nat and Matt, thank you so much for this, and You're we'll welcome. get right into it. I think everyone, Nat deserves a big cheers. Cheers, Nat. Thank you. <laughs>